Ready now for our second quarterfinal event in this K-1. In the red corner from Burnaby, British Columbia, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Michael McDonald. to be him and I have to use my speed and uh, everything he throws at me I have to counter because I want him building up points on me. I like to move a lot and use my quickness. I'm a very good kind of puncher whether it's well, punching or kicking. John Claude Loyer. I'm the kind of fighter that likes to destroy his opponent, break his leg if possible, or break his arm, go right after him and take him out as quick as possible. I look at his size, one, I dwarf him. He's got quickness, but the guys I spar with are really quick also. Look at his knockout ratio, he doesn't have a lot of power behind him. Ladies and gentlemen, our second quarter final bout is scheduled for three minutes, three rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 210 pounds. He's wearing the orange trunks trimmed in black. He's originally from Birmingham, England. He now lives and fights out of Tokyo, Japan. His professional record stands at 34 wins, eight defeats, 11 wins by knockout. Introducing Michael McDonald. His opponent in the blue corner weighed in at 235 pounds. He's wearing the blue and black trunks and he comes to us from San Jose, California. His professional record includes 39 wins, eight defeats, one draw, 34 wins by knockout. Here is Jean-Claude Loyer. Your three judges scoring this bout will be Al Lefkowitz, Dolby Shirley, and Jeff Mullins. Introducing your referee in charge, Mr. John Shirley. Done? Yep. Okay, guys, I expect a good clean fight out of both of you. Obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now. Come on, fight and give all good luck. Referee John Shirley giving final instructions to that man, Michael McDonald, who'll be in the orange shorts. And his opponent, Jean-Claude Loyer, in the blue and black trunks of Fairtex. Three-minute rounds. You have yet to see a full round. And that stunning knockout in the first round by Duke Rufus. Loyer suffered a knockout himself in last year's K-1 2000 in the second round. for having a slow first round. McDonald looks like he wants to take advantage of that. Well, you can't have a slow first round in the K-1. I mean, in this sport, you got to start quick. And every fighter so far has uh, got that on their mind. It looks like uh, they want to make it end quick. Nice little razzle-dazzle by Loyer. Got the heel up. He, he needs to stick to backing off McDonald. McDonald is very aggressive in his first round, and we've seen this happen with Loyer before, where he takes a hard shot in the first round. It's not the same for three or four rounds. And in tonight's fight, he's only got three rounds to show his stuff. To Loyer's credit, in last year's K-1 event here in Las Vegas, 
He had a very good first round. It was a second round, or he was caught by surprise by Paul Lalonde, and that took him out of the event. He has it in him, but there are rumors also that this could be his last night of fighting. Well, I heard his pre-fight comment about his opponent being too small to hurt him, but uh, you know, once you get over 200 pounds, you can hurt anybody. Perhaps McDonald feels he has used the surprise factor up. Loyer now decides to stay back just a little bit. Probably wise by McDonald. The element of surprise is gone. Now he's got to set it into his game plan. Left hook snuck to the jaw of Loyer. That is. Jean-Claude's strength right there. You don't want to trade kicks with him. He can devastate a man's leg. Now you notice that Loyer is right side forward. That means that his back leg roundhouses are not going to the front leg of McDonald. They only go to the inside of the back leg thigh. Loyer loves to work on the front leg, and he's going to have trouble doing that out of that stance. McDonald has a great front flick on that kick. and already a big one. was a good move by Jean-Claude because he was just about to eat a back-legged roundhouse kick if he hadn't done the move he did. Hit that inside leg. You're so absolutely good. right. His left hand was down yeah. way too low. That saved him. Now, regardless of anything else, McDonald wins the muscular upper body award. Now, that's a good Good one-two combination. He's much quicker with the, with the fist than Jean-Claude. to break up the clinch in the red corner. And he does walk away from it. Jean-Claude Loyer back into his corner, shaking off any possible damage that McDonald may have done, but always a source of concern to those first three minutes from Jean-Claude's corner. Well, Loyer obviously not pleased with his first round performance. Walking back to his corner, he had a, a, a look of disappointment on his face. And we know why. That's not the Jean-Claude. It's not the way he likes to fight, particularly in a three-rounder. Far too slow of a pace for the first round. Don? That was just a clean slip right there. Uh, Jean-Claude went for the outside left thigh with his right leg and uh, just lost his balance on that one. No knockdown. I would have to give that round to McDonald, guys. He was much more the aggressor. Landed some good hard shots. Loyer needs to wake up. Get out there in the second round and get aggressive. Well, I think at the end, we can say that Jean-Claude hung on in that first round. Now he needs to get down and do his work. Round two of three scheduled. The good thing about that southpaw style against the orthodox fighter, you see his big power left leg is right in the face of his opponent. Now you have to wonder if, now that McDonald's surprise first round of Flurry is gone, does he have the technique to defeat Floyd? So an interesting move just then. McDonald did a spinning heel kick to Loyer's leg. It's allowed in K1 competition. It's not allowed in a lot of other types. He apparently wants to work on the front leg of Loyer using a more powerful kick than just a front leg quick kick. Well, there was a great K1 champion, Andy Hoover. He had that perfected. It spinning heel to the leg. Leg kick, yeah. Strong by Loyer. I mean, there's Loyer doing something you didn't see the amateurs do earlier on. He's blocking those. He's, he's catching the leg kicks. He's good, very skilled with his legs. At this point in the fight, Jean-Claude Loyer cannot be content to hope for a decision. As you thought, Mike, and I think both of us have thought as well, that McDonald won that first round. Loyer is not showing anything right here to take the second round so far. And we've seen this so many times from Jean Claude. A uh, slow start, he wins the middle rounds, knocks his opponent out late in the fight. In this a ten round, three round, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. He's got to keep the pace going. That's defensive, I think, more than anything else. A very hard hitter, Loyer is. The 30, 39 wins, 34 by knockout. The rap on him is he either wins by knockout or loses by knockout. And maybe a lack of killer instinct in there. We saw him walk away from him, but he might have been able to finish him last year. 
but he's such a darn nice guy, it's hard, it's hard for him to finish a fighter. Yeah, he's a great guy. I don't know. It, it might just be a technical thing. I, I think even the nice guys would knock you out. It's close, but uh, McDonald is uh, hanging in there in this round also. That was a strong left jab by McDonald. Side Mike, uh, pretty effective by McDonald. He's, he's actually superior okay. with the hands. Yep, he, uh, and you saw it evident right there as you said it. A little quick one-two combo on the nose of Royer. Royer cannot try to go quick versus quick against McDonald. He'll lose every time. Now, a big welt on the inside right thigh of Royer. McDonald's done a good job working on the inside of that thigh, but of course the outside is the area that's most crucial. That's where the, the hamstrings that support that weight go. Closing hey. round number two. Pretty good one, maybe a better one for Lay. Let's go into the corners and see what the strategists have cooked up for their fighters. Just got an earful of Jean Clyde. You okay, got to win this last round. Touch gloves, touch gloves. Last one. Good advice by his corner, and you would expect the same from Fairtex trainers. Excellent uh, training gym in the United States, one of the best. Daniel Fairtex, David Smith, all gave good advice to Loyer. Loyer, let's see if he can do it this round. It looks to me like I see a little fatigue in McDonald. Yeah, I agree. He looks a little more tired, like he's having to deal with all the size of. Um, oh, good left oh, hook. Oh, that staggered Loyer. Yeah, yeah, good left hook. Tried again and again. Now he's going for the kill. I'm taking back what I said about him being yeah. tired. Look at Loyer. He's all over him. He's running all over him. Loyer's got to get out of that corner. We talked about Loyer's killer instinct. But I can tell you, McDonald's got it. He keeps Loyer in there. This fight could be over. Loyer is looking for a rest. Keep those knees up here. Hey, keep those knees out of here. I don't here. think he's fully aware right now, even. Royer still dazed. Interestingly, in the corner, McDonald concentrated on the knee kicks to the legs. That's sort of a strange. Good roundhouse to the head by Jean Claude. Good roundhouse. Best strike of the fight for Jean Claude Royer. Can't win it with one punch or one kick, though. He's got to keep keep racking up points. One and a half minutes to go. In the final round, Jean-Claude Loyer once again finds himself in trouble in the K-1 in Las Vegas. Good kick. Down, yes. Two. Three. And now he is John one knockdown away the from winning. The, Four. No, I'm sorry. Five, no knockdowns six, in the third round. Seven. No knockdown rule in the third round. Well, I tell you, he did go down as a result of a legal technique. That was a leg kick. It did not hit him in the chin. He was, he was not happy with it. McDonald was not happy with the call, but that is the rule. He was kicking the leg and, and touched the ground. Donald, to win this fight outright, I think, needs to go upstairs. Continue to go upstairs. And he is. He's gone. He's trying. It's close. Loyes can't get stuck in the corner. He cannot stay in there and punch with McDonald. McDonald is desperate. Oh. Loyes is already staggered. Loyes getting the worst of the punching contest in the corner. Well, I think McDonald has this round one. If they both stay on their feet. Six seconds. On K1 rules, knockdowns count the highest of anything go, let him go. do in a round. So it may have pulled this round out for Loyer, but I don't know if that's going to win him to fight. Right there shows me Loyer is not all with it. Of course, the factor, too, is whoever wins has to go out and fight one, maybe two more fights. Can Loyer do that? Both these guys have, have really taken a toll on each other. Good luck. None of the fights in the K1 2000 
with the distance. Now, in our second quarterfinal, we will have a decision between a very surprisingly adept Michael McDonald and Jean-Claude Loyer. Be prepared in case there's a draw, is what his corner is saying. They'll go another round. There is the best strike of the fight for Loyer. Best, best kick for Loyer, but he could not follow up. He couldn't keep going. Had he been able to get McDonald in the corner like this and work on him, it may have been a different story. But Michael McDonald bounced back from that roundhouse kick. They have a good account of himself the rest of this round. He may have even pulled this round out, even with the knockdown. Right, by pinning Loyer against those ropes like that and racking in the points with the low kicks and the hands, McDonald may have still pulled it out even with that flash knockdown because that was not a devastating knockdown. That was a kick that just made him go put one hand down on the ground, not actually a good clean knockout. Kind of knockdown that you get a one-point uh, advantage for, maybe a, a point and a half, but certainly not two points. This will be a very close decision, I think. Yeah, I think you're right, and just because it does go to the judges, uh, we saw a lot of benefits to what McDonald was doing all throughout the fight. We're ready for the announcement now from Jay Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds in our second quarter final match, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. Judge Al Lefkowitz scored this bout 29 to 28 and a half for McDonald. Judge Dalby Shirley scored the bout 29 to 28 and a half for Luyer. And Judge Jeff Mullen scored the bout 30 to 28 for the fighter advancing to the semifinal round in the red corner, Michael McDonald. All right, so the surprise is a split decision, but that deciding judge, I think, had it right. I believe so. I would have given a bout to McDonald. I don't know uh, that I would have given it to him by two points, but uh, the judges have spoken, and McDonald moves on.